Hey, what's up? Welcome to Hack My Growth. Today, we're going to be learning how to use Google Analytics to see where our traffic's coming from and what they're doing once they get to our website. All right, so Google Analytics is one of the most powerful analytics tools out there, and the best part about this tool is it's free, so anybody can use the tool. Now, the problem with big data, and data really essential for a lot of people, is that it can get very overwhelming, especially if you don't really understand the terminology or what you're looking at. You know, it just looks like a bunch of numbers and graphs, and yes, you want to see the, dra the graph go up and to the right, but what does it all really mean? Well, one of the questions we get most of the time is, where's my traffic coming from? What channels or, or what campaigns are producing the best results for us? So we're going to look at how we can quickly see that in Google Analytics using our Acquisitions tab. So once you're logged into Google Analytics, you're going to see this. This is the home screen. So they've got a lot of cool graphs here, stuff that they, you know, they, they've they've learned from their users are really important. Things like you know our traffic over the last seven days, who's on our site right now. This is a really cool new widget where it's going to pull insights on what's happening on our website. This is all great stuff, but that's not what we're talking about today. Today we want to get a little bit more granular in the data, and we want to do so by going to our acquisition tab which is going to be right over here on the left hand side. Now when we expand this tab there's a number of options and we're going to start with overview. What acquisitions is going to do is it's going to break down our website traffic into different types of channels and when we talk about channels we're talking about organic traffic so this is like Google or direct traffic which people come strictly to our website or referral traffic this is people from one website coming to our website paid search, this is buying ads in search, this is social traffic. These are all the different types of mediums that we can use to drive people to our website. And the acquisition tab is going to show us which channel is producing the best results over time. So some of the stuff you have to set up, like conversions, you have to set up your conversions in order to get that. But even without that, you can get a lot of really great data. I highly recommend you set up goals, that way you can track how people are really performing. But, but we can also see things like bounce rate or, or page per session. Now let's look a little bit deeper. This is just the overview tab. And what this is gonna show is what types of channels we have coming to our website and how they're performing. It's gonna tell us the amount of users. This is the amount of people who have come to our sites. So this is going to count as individual users and they count that via an IP address. So let's say you have five people at your office those are only going to count as one person because there's only one person, uh, one one IP address, right? So it's going to tell us the amount of new users. Now this can be sometimes misleading. A new user is someone who hasn't been to your site before, or somebody who hasn't been to your site in a while, or maybe they cleared their their cache. So if they've cleared their history, they've cleared their web browser data, they're going to come back as a new visitor. And finally, we're going to have sessions. So remember we talked about users are unique. Sessions are not unique. So somebody can come back to your site five or six times and that's going to count as a new session each time. We can also see their behavior. So we can see the bounce rate. Bounce rate is when somebody comes to your website take and doesn't take an action, instead just leaves. So they hit the back button. They don't do anything. They bounce, right? So we're going to have our bounce rate here. We're going to see which channels are bouncing the highest. We're also going to be able to see the pages per session. So this is how many pages did they see on average per a website visit. The last thing we're going to see in the behavior column is the average session duration. How long are they spending on our website? Now, like I said, if you've set up conversions, you're going to be able to see uh, what the conversion was and then how many transactions. And you can even see how much revenue you've made if you've set it all up to track revenue. But even without setting up your goals and conversions, you can still learn a lot about which types of channels are driving the best results. So if we go here back to our, our top and see the amount of users that are coming to our website, we can clearly see from this graph that organic traffic is driving the most amount of users to our website. It also has a pretty decent bounce rate and, uh, and, and seems to be doing pretty well, but our conversions are actually the highest on our referral traffic. So what we can learn is, is while referral traffic may not be driving the most visitors to our site, the people who are coming to our site through referrals are actually very highly credible traffic. They're people who want to take action and do business with the specific site. Now, this is just the acquisitions overview tab. And you can see just from here, you can start to learn a lot about how your website's performing, but you can go even deeper. 
by looking at all traffic, we can now dig into channels, our specific channels report. This again is going to give us a lot of the data we just saw, uh, but just looking at the channels. As you can see, it's a lot of the same organic traffic for all that. Users, new users, sessions, we've got conversions again here. You can also start to slice and dice your data if you really want to get in here by clicking advanced. You can start to group channels. You can uh, remove certain channels. You know, But if you're really just trying to get a high level view, this is really going to start helping you out. Again, organic is from organic search. This is Google, Yahoo, Bing, uh, Baidu, Yandex, any of those channels. Direct is going to be people directly typing in your website URL. Referrals, this is going to come from people who have referred you to your website. Paid search, again, it's paid ads. Social media, we can think that's explanatory. Display would be display ads, so this would be like images and stuff. And affiliates would be affiliate sites. Now last is other. Uh, this is kind of where they don't know where it goes, so they put it in other. <laughs> now the cool thing about these, these are all links. So you can actually click into organic search and see which browser is, uh, or, or right here is the keyword, uh, that, that was actually used for this specific search. So most of it, 92.6% of the keywords, Google's not providing. <laughs> but they are providing some terms here. As you can see, Google merchandise, things of that nature. But this is keywords. You can also change the primary dimension. You can change it to source. This will tell you which um, search engine was driving those traffic. So Google, Baidu, Bing, Yahoo, Ask. This is going to be the default. You can also see which landing page was seen the most in search. Home page, uh, the redesign for the shop. So there's a lot of ways that you can slice your data to find out what is working and what's not. Again, you can do that not just with organic, but any of those specific channels to your website. To get back, you just simply all channels. You can either go to overview again and go back here or just hit the back on your browser and you'll be able to find the channels report once again. Again, if you want to see which websites, those referral websites, which ones are driving the most benefit to you, you can just check it out here. Okay, so uh, this, this mail.googleplex, doing really, really well for us, sites.google. Uh, you know, this is where you can see who is driving or sending people your way that's really qualified. Now, you can dig through all the different uh, links here in the channel reports, but let's continue in the all traffic. We also can look at tree maps. Now, this is a graph that just, again, is going to take our, our data down here and it's going to visualize it for us and we can see that right here um, we've we've got two, a couple different things going on we've got the number of users and then we have versus page per session so as you can see low and high so high number page per session is going to have this darker green lower is going to have the the pinkish colors and but the size of the block is going to be uh, the amount of traffic that we're seeing. So again, you can funnel through this, you can change this, and you can say percent of new sessions. Now if we change this, uh, the data shifts. Uh, we can do it again with goal conversion rate. Again, the data is going to shift as we begin to change these different metrics. But this is a really nice way to visualize how much uh, impact these certain channels have. As you can see here, is organic traffic is about half of all the website's traffic, which means it's extremely important to the visibility of the brand online. Again, it's got the same data down here. We can continue to click through and see more. Source medium is one of the most uh, useful ones. I use it all the time. This is where I do most of my tracking. Again, it's just a simple graph that you can come out here and, and you can look at a lot of things um, like we saw before, users and sessions and things of that nature and drill down. But it's gonna give us the, the source and the medium. So let's talk about what those two things mean. Now, the medium would be the specific channel, like organic or referral or paid advertising or uh, an affiliate link. And then the source would be where, where, which type of that medium was being used. So this is organic traffic. Which type of organic traffic? Well, Google. This is uh, um, CPC. This is, this is ads, right? So uh, cost per, per click. And who do we use? This is Google Ads. Uh, this is where you can kind of go through these down here. You see referral, where did it come from? Analytics.google. So that's really helpful because now you're knowing the channel, but you're also knowing where, what type of, of, of link came from that specific channel. You start to break it down a lot more. Um, you can also go deeper. Like say you want to see more than just the last few days. 
up here you can do a custom date range you can do last 30 days seven days month yesterday you can also compare the data which is very helpful we like to do this a lot is comparing the data did we go up did we go down how are we doing overall as as a company uh, as a brand online and you also have the report for referrals so this goes a little bit again deeper into your referrals which we pulled out before in channels uh, but again it's just a nice way a quick way to get to your referral traffic now if you're done comparing you can go up here and just unclick this box hit apply and you're good to go so again that's just one tab in acquisitions looking at all the different traffics you can actually go deeper you can hook up your google ad accounts if you're doing um, ppc with google uh, you want to definitely hook up your search console because this is going to allow you to pull in your queries and all that deeper search data into your google analytics account so you can start to see how many clicks impressions and ctr uh, click-through rates that you're having how, how many people are clicking on these terms and you can start walking through that definitely recommend that you can look at your social data what networks are, are working the best for you what type of referrals are doing better for you you know facebook and quora and google groups and reddit and how many page views and how long are they staying on your website this is allows you to see how well you're doing in your social media campaigns and then you can even look at campaigns so if you're doing organic campaigns or uh, you're actually using um, tracking domains you can see hey you know our data share promo did a really good job of driving new users uh, we can also say that our aw office had a really low bounce rate which was really great and we saw a really high uh, conversion rate with this campaign but nothing was better than our Google brand campaign as far as conversion rates go but as we look at the monetary value it still goes back to the AW office that was doing the best for us it drove in the most revenue so people who bought from us there were having a much higher purchasing level again this is all from just the acquisitions tab on Google Analytics I would start by, by looking at the different types of traffic that are coming to your site and seeing where you're investing your time and your energy and maybe you're gonna find some things that are that are really surprising we've had this happen for us a number of times where we found very surprising results in our acquisition reports uh, that we were able to invest more in a certain channel and even drive up the RI even higher if you've got any questions about the acquisition reports inside of Google Analytics please let us know we would love to learn uh, more about what you're trying to find and help you get the most out of your data and until next time happy marketing